everybody, welcome back. Um, today is day 13. I am working on some tags for the journal that I'm I'm currently working on. Um, like I said, I've got several going, but um, this is using Tracy Fox Oula Chic kit. I love this kit, as you guys know. Um, I did a previous journal for my design team project for her. And I knew I had to revisit this kit because it is beautiful. So I'm going to put the link below to that kit. Um, I'm also going to share the link to the inspiration behind this project. Um, it's the, the lady's called the Crafty Gemini. Uh, I've just tweaked it slightly in, you know, thinking in terms of um, junk journals. We tend to have to really watch so things don't get too bulky and um, so you know this is my take on it but I will put the link to the original tutorial because she did a, a really really good uh, tutorial so anyways here we are um, this is a little pocket that you can I've done this on 120 GSM paper that's what I'm printing out on now um, the original tutorial was on cardstock so I just want to keep the weight within the journal down so that's why I've opted to do this and it's still very very durable um, but my thinking was and I've done this before in past journals you can run this through like a, a wide zigzag and it will almost um, It'll create a nice little tuck spot under there as well. But if you also, also the other thing you could do is this little um, portion of it, you could back it with just a little bit of cardstock, and that will definitely make it a tuck spot underneath. So, this tag is a little bit big for this because you wouldn't be able to flip it up with the tag in there. But if you trim that down to where it fits, um, the next time I will use a different size tag and then that way you can flip it up but I'll probably just shift this around and use it in another part and get one that will totally fit here so that's how that would be and then you can flip it up you could add some plain paper back here if you want to make an additional journey journaling spot but I love this idea. I think it's really, really cute. So let's just get started, and you'll see how fast this goes. And then you can just take the idea and um, tweak it yourself. So what we're going to need is you'll need a envelope punch board. And then I am going to just go ahead and cut the paper that I'm going to use very quickly. Um, I've got the dimensions written down here. Um, it's a sheet. You're going to be doing the um, three and a half by five card. Three, so you need a seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And I've printed some of this out. So let me just go ahead and uh, trim this off here. And then we are going to use the punch board and then line it up to the three mark for the first time. If, if you're not familiar with the punch board, you only use this marking one time. So, and then we'll carry on. This is such a quick project, but I do love these because we're always looking for new ideas and uh, I've been doing this one for a while and it just occurred to me today that 
but this will be a, a really quick little project and I needed these for this journal so that's worked out really well okay do, 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 do. so we've got that done and like I said I I'm just going to tweak mine slightly because I want to keep the flap so that I can just adhere that down um, if you wanted to You could just glue these down. And then you would have a little pocket for the journal that way if you wanted to. But I, I like the flip up. So that's um, how I thought, you know, I, I've used in the past. So let me just get these glued. Just ink this up a little bit. If the white back bothers you, you could line this with some coordinating paper that you've printed. But I'm not that bothered because your <coughs> tag is going to cover that anyways. So there we go guys. That is it. It is done. We'll just embellish this quickly. Um, and this is using Tracy's um, embellishments from the kit. And I've got a little bit of lace and a few things we'll put on there. Let me just grab my stuff. really enjoying working on this um, these papers are just it's just a beautiful kit the colors are so pretty on this okay so let me just get a little bit of lace slipped there. This is some really wide lace that I have and I've started just cutting it down the middle. And uh, I've been making some ruffles with it and just, um, it's just a nice way to use it. So there we go. Just got a little bit more glue on here. Okay, let's see. I probably won't use I had those on that last one. I don't want to do them the same. Let me see what I've got here. This is some um, Tracy's tiny embellishments. You guys have heard me talk about these before. I love this kit. <laughs> it is so, so sweet. I think I'll try to cut this one out.
I think I've said this before. I love how Tracy's mind works because she thinks of things that we need before we know we need them. And uh, I love that because there has been such a need for a kit like this. Um, because, you know, if, especially if you don't have access to the Tim Holtz stuff, and i got to be honest, the tiny um, embellishments that he does and stuff, you know, it's, they're nice, but um, you can't always get those things, so this is great. Um, so, and her faux ephemera, I just cannot, I cannot recommend that enough, it's so awesome <laughs> because you can't get your hands on that stuff um, easily so I love that um, I feel I don't know yeah I'm happy with that let me just show you guys with a smaller tag this one's uh, See, once that's in there, you'd have that would have no problem flipping up. So that's that's the size, and that, like I said, I I'll just use that in another part of the uh, journal. <clears throat> there you go, guys. That's the um, the little project for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, check out the original tutorial. I'll leave the link below. And then if you're interested in these in this kit, I'm going to put the link below to Tracy's shop on Etsy. So thank you again, guys, for joining me. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you here soon. Bye.